Ginny, and we created Bees and Buttercups as a way to raise money for pollinators while spreading awareness about the issues they face. By combining our love of crafts and creation with our passion for environmental sustainability. We raise money through the sale of handmade wire rings and string bracelets, along with the distribution of wildflower seeds with each purchase. Through these sales, we donate the money earned to organizations across Ontario that are working to restore pollinator habitats. We always knew we wanted to work with something with nature, but we weren't sure, sure like where to put that, how to go about it. We thought about a few ideas, but then I remembered that I had helped um, in a local volunteer opportunity to plant a pollinator garden uh, last year. So I had some background with pollinators. I kind of understood their importance and I brought that idea to Jenny and she loved it. So we went ahead with it. We have uh, either a ring or bracelet and then we have these wildflower seed packets. So there's like some wildflower seeds like wrapped up in there so they don't like spill everywhere. <laughs> and then we have like this seed card that you can plant. And then on our website, we have instructions like how to, how to pot it, how to put in soil and everything. Maybe I'll like donate to something or help out with like a volunteer opportunity, but I've never spearheaded something like Ginny and I like on our own and actually made an impact. Like we've raised like over a hundred dollars. It's like amazing. It's really helped me to gain confidence in myself. Um, like just communicating with other people, coming up with my own ideas and being able to pursue it. You're your own worst critic. So if you have like issues with an idea, if you don't think it's going to work, try it and see what happens. You know, you may find a spark that you weren't even expecting. Some next steps, we are hoping to support another pollinator organization. So now that we've donated our $100 to Pollinator Partnership Canada, we plan to focus on helping another local initiative. Um, and we also hope to expand our social media. So the more people who can know, learn about pollinators, the better. So far, we've been successful with our Instagram. So we hope to make a Facebook to reach more customers. And if we were to win the $2,000, um, we would buy vendor spots for local artisan markets to reach a wider demographic, as well as raise more money for pollinators. I just wanted to say how grateful we are for, I guess, just everything. The Leave Initiative for Sarah, for our chapter heads, Ava and Emma, because they were so encouraging, so supportive throughout this whole journey. Um, and we really wouldn't be here without any of you guys.